हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज आदर्श एंड टुडे लेट्स स्टडी अबाउट नाउन्स एंड काइंड्स ऑफ नाउन्स नाउ व्हाट इज नाउन यू मस्ट हैव स्टडीड इन प्रीवियस क्लास दैट नाउन्स आर द नेम्स ऑफ पीपल प्लेस एनिमल्स थिंग्स आइडियाज एंड फीलिंग्स सो दिस इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ नाउन दैट यू हैव स्टडीड इन प्रीवियस क्लास नाउ लेट्स स्टडी अबाउट काइंड्स ऑफ नाउन नाउ द फर्स्ट काइंड ऑफ नाउन इज प्रॉपर नाउन नाउ वॉट इज प्रॉपर नाउन दीज आर द नेम्स ऑफ अ स्पेसिफिक पीपल प्लेसेस एनिमल्स और थिंग्स नाउ वॉट इज प्रॉपर नाउन रिमेंबर दे आर द नेम्स ऑफ स्पेसिफिक और पर्टिकुलर पीपल प्लेसेस एनिमल्स और थिंग्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल अहमद अहमद इज अ प्रॉपर नाउन बिकॉज इट इज अ नेम ऑफ अ स्पेसिफिक पर्सन और अ स्पेसिफिक पीपल नाउ राधा it is a proper noun because it is a name of a specific or a particular person now same goes for delhi delhi is a example of proper noun because delhi is a delhi is a name of a specific place or a particular place now other examples can be many pacific ocean ganga the ramayana the times of india these are all examples of proper noun and one thing you should note in this is that proper nouns always begin with a capital letter for example if you write your name ahmed or radha or whatever your name is you will always write it it with capital letter for example my name is adarsh so when i will write my name adarsh so the a the first letter of my name will be in capital now second type of noun is common noun now these are the names of a people places animals or things in general it means we are not talking about any specific people places animals or thing we are talking about people places animals or things in general for example boy girl we don't know about which boy we are talking about we don't know about which girl we are talking about we are talking in a general sense so these type of noun are known as common noun now let's see few few examples man woman river sea bird mountain book pen field garden road so these are all examples of common noun because they are not any specific thing or person okay now next type of noun is collective noun now what is collective noun now these are the collection or a group of people animals or things for example an army of soldier now we are not talking about one soldier but we are talking about a group of soldier so we say an army of soldier so what is collective noun these are the are a collection or a group of people or animals or things other examples can be a bundle of sticks we are not talking about one stick but we are talking about bundle of sticks that contain more than one stick okay now next type of noun is abstract noun now these now nouns denotes an idea a feeling a quality a state of mind for example beauty strength love hatred greed bravery length heat so these are all quality an idea or a state of mind okay now let's study about the next topic that is number now some nouns can be counted while others cannot be counted okay so the nouns that cannot be counted are called as uncountable nouns for example water is an example of uncountable noun because you cannot count water yes you can count number of glasses of water but you can never count water so when you talk about water in specific then it is an example of uncountable noun so remember students nouns that cannot be counted are called as uncountable noun for example water soil bravery honesty iron glass butter sugar these are 
the noun that cannot be counted so they are the examples of uncountable noun now they do not have a plural form so always remember uncountable noun do not have a plural form now the next is countable noun now the nouns that can be counted are called as countable nouns for example boy table tree mango bat fan building these are all examples of countable noun now most countable noun have a singular and a plural form now a noun that denotes one person or thing is said to be in a singular number for example flower cow house sister garden so in this we are talking about singular number okay now next is plural now a noun is in the plural number if it denotes more than one thing person for example flowers it means we are talking about more than one flower other example is cows you can see after cow there is a s it means we are talking about plural number now next is compound nouns now a compound noun is a noun which is made up of two or more words for example bedroom bus stop son in law so can you see this example bus stop it is made up of two words bus and stop now to form the plural of compound nouns add s to the principal word for example let's take the example of mother in law now this is a compound noun and what is the principal word the principal word is mother to so to made to make its plural form we will simply add s after the principal word so it will be mothers in law now next is add s at the end of the word when it has no obvious principal word so when in compound noun there is no principal word then we add s at the end of the word for example spoonful now this compound noun or this word doesn't have any principal word so to make it plural we will simply add s after the word now the next is gender now there are four kinds of gender first is masculine gender now what is is it what is it a noun which is used for a male person or a male animal is said to be in the masculine gender for example father man servant he goat and milkman so what is masculine gender a noun that is used for a male person or a male animal is called as masculine gender now the next is feminine gender now what is it a noun which is used for a female person or a female animal is said to be in the feminine gender for example mother sister maid servant she goat and milk maid so what are they showing they are showing female person or female animal now the next is neuter gender now generally non living things cannot be distinguished as male or female so they are said to be in the neuter gender for example water or table you cannot say table is a male or table is a female so they are kept under the category of neuter gender now the next is common gender now nouns that can be used both for males as well as females are said to be in the common gender for example parent when you say parent you are you may be talking both about your father as well as your mother 
for example friend when you are talking about friend it can be a girl or it can be a boy for next example of common gender is student when you are saying a student it may be a male student or a female student now let's study the next topic that is case and try to understand this topic with these two examples now father bought a car kamal kicked the ball now in the above these two sentences father and kamal are subjects and they are the subjects of verb bought and kicked so bought and kicked as you know are verbs and father and kamal are the subjects of these two verbs respectively and what does this answer or what does the subject tell about they answer the question who did the action so father bought a car so who bought a car father bought a car so here father is the subject now next is the words car and ball are the objects of these sentence so how you will know that car and ball is the object of these sentences are the object of these sentences uh, by asking the simple question or by knowing this they tell us who or what received the action of the subject now father bought a car father is the doer of the action or who did the action father did the action and what was his action buying a car so father bought a car so father is the subject bought is verb and car here is object because car received the action of the subject that is father now a noun or pronoun that is used as the subject of the verb is said to be in the comminative case whereas a noun or a pronoun that is used as the object of the verb is said to be in the objective or accusative case so here nominative case is father and objective case is car so thank you for watching